I'm sorry, I'm sorry, chat GPT won't help you too much in finding easy to rank keywords and in this video I want to show you why. Welcome back to Digital Toolcase, as you can see I'm inside chat GPT and this is a new version, January 30 version update, we've upgraded the chat GPT model with improved factuality and mathematical capabilities sounds good but this is not what I want to show you in this video. As you can see I have uh, some uh, Chrome extensions installed here, I don't know why this is double, this is the first time I see this uh, thing, this is a search on the web, uh, it's called I think uh, web chat GPT, this uh, lets you search on the web when you use chat GPT, anyway uh, it has uh, some limits, uh, but uh, even this is not what I want to show you. This other one uh, is a Chrome extension, it's called AI PRM, and I see many videos about this, many people that is uh, using this uh, SEO extension. Uh, this contains some uh, ready-to-use prompts, you have 186 uh, prompts here and they are mostly focused on SEO but not only if you uh, watch here SEO, copywriting, uh, marketing, uh, productivity and so on. I tried some of these ones and I have to say I was not so excited to be honest and let's take for example this keyword strategy one. This works uh, like this, you insert a keyword strategy and this prompt will generate some uh, uh, keywords uh, with uh, search intent, uh, with uh, meta description and so on. Uh, let's take for example a keyword I searched in a recent video using Lofruits and if you want go watch uh, my video about uh, three different ways to find easy to rank keywords. Anyway, let's try with this one. I want to generate a keyword strategy for how to stop migraine. Let's try this uh, Chrome extension and as you can see it's generating an entire table, so you may be fascinated by this, but uh, uh, let's uh, ChatGPT finish this table and let's uh, take a look uh, if it's uh, really helpful or not. For example, we can already see these uh, first generations, uh, keyword cluster migraine causes, keyword how to stop migraine triggers, search intent informational, obviously all the how to keywords are informational, you have a title, discover the hidden triggers of your migraines and how to stop them, and you have a meta description, you may find it useful. Migraine remedies, natural remedies for migraines, informational, say goodbye to migraines with these simple natural remedies, again it may seem useful, uh, again, uh, over-the-counter medications, over-the-counter migraine medication, transactional in this case, uh, uh, because it assumes uh, uh, someone searching for this is uh, searching for uh, medications. Uh, and then again, prescription medication, uh, uh, prescription migraine medication, uh, and so on. You may think this is useful and uh, Maybe, but uh, how do you know if these keywords are easy to rank or not? I, I, I can assure you these are not easy to rank keywords because uh, uh, they are all short tail keywords, diet for migraines, migraine surgery, acupuncture for migraines and so on. These are for sure hard to rank keywords. So. Yes, you may generate a keyword strategy, but uh, this is useful only if you already have a big site talking about this kind of thing. In all the other cases, these are not good keywords to start from. And try to think something, because ChatGPT, if you know how it works, ChatGPT is very good in using words, in predicting 
next words it's very good in semantic help so if you need some kind of semantic help in seo and in keyword research this can be useful but for example if i ask chat gpt to find me uh, find me uh, 50 easy to rank uh, keywords related to how to stop migraine i don't know if this can be a good prompt uh, let's try and let's wait a few seconds uh, prevent migraines uh, quite difficult i think stop migraine headaches quite hard to rank for again uh, chat gpt is uh, tricking you in this case it's tricking you because uh, you may watch for this keyword and say wow i now have a lot of uh, easy to rank keywords it's wrong because one chat gpt it's not connected to the web yes you can use this extension search on the web but this works really different uh, it's not made for really scan uh, all the web uh, it's just uh, searching for first results in the SERP and extracting some little data from there but chat gpt don't have a keywords database so these keywords are good from a semantic point of view so maybe when you write an article yes you can use some of these keywords but you cannot base your article on one of these keywords because you don't have volume data you don't have keyword difficulty and even if you ask chat gpt to find you some low competition keywords it can't do it because of how it works it just uses words it's just predicting the next word the next most probable words it can't do any kind of keyword research for keyword research professional keyword research you need to use some other tools like these ones for example i talked about low fruits i talked about uh, se ranking i talked about uh, uh, writer zen uh, there are many others uh, semrush ahrefs uh, you need to use these tools to find easy to rank keywords so this uh, list of keywords it's uh, pretty useless if you want to find a keyword to base your article on i, I hope it's clear why you can't do this kind of keyword research with uh, chat gpt this is just to clarify because i see many videos on youtube of seos that are showing you how to search for keywords with chat gpt this is something it can do simply it, it, it can do until now maybe in a future version i don't know but uh, but this is an ai language model it's not a keyword data analyzer and even the, the best tools even these ones uh, uh, sometimes uh, go wrong they don't even have all the data of the keywords but uh, chat gpt have zero data it's just better if you go on google and use uh, autocomplete it's better than this please don't use chat gpt for keyword research you can use it to find semantically related keywords semantically related topics okay but uh, these are just ideas once you have maybe some keywords you always need to check if they are good keywords if you can rank for them because if not you will do some useless work this is my opinion i don't know if your opinion is different in this case please let me know here in the comments again uh, watch for my previous videos about uh, keyword research i leave you here the link so you can watch uh, the three ways you can use to find easy to rank keywords Thank you very much for watching. If you find this video useful, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and see you soon in another one.